my name may not be in every or any newspaper headline for that matter, but that doesn't change what happened to me. I remember it was loud and there was so much going on and he came up to me and he got in my face and I could feel him breathing down my neck and he said, are you scared? And I didn't want to know what was going to happen next and I'm so thankful that I didn't have to. But in that moment I realized something needed to change. These statistics are people's realities. They can't just close a tab when they're wondering what are the odds, it'll be me. And I think in that moment is when I discovered Ending It Through Education needed to be founded. Hello, my name is Miriam Talieva and I'm the head of marketing of Ending It Through Education. Uh, the goal of this Los Angeles based program is to require all United States territories and all United States schools that receive federal funding to implement a course on anti-sexual harassment. This curriculum includes a mandatory course for ninth graders and annual all high school level presentation on the topic. As the vice president of Ending It Through Education, Many people ask me what would make three high school students want to create a group like this, and my answer is their stories. Hi, I'm Kimia. I'm 18, but when I was in seventh grade on the first day of school, I needed help with my locker because it was jammed, and so the maintenance guy came over and he started asking me questions, and throughout the year he would just constantly blow me kisses and call me baby, and I knew something was up, I knew something was wrong, but I didn't say anything until he grabbed me by my backpack and dragged me into the janitor's closet and luckily I got away. Yeah, that's when I went straight to my dean's office and said something to her immediately and he got fired. And so learning from my experience, I took the initiative this year during my senior year to educate middle schoolers on sexual harassment and not being a bystander, standing up for what's right and, and I truly believe that ending it through education will help stop the problem before it starts. Hi, my name is Jamie Nahama. This is what happened to me. My brother had a USC party at our house. A guy asked me for the bathroom upstairs, so I had to show it to him. And then I took him upstairs to show him the bathroom because all the bathrooms downstairs were closed. And he closed the door as we went into the room and slammed the door and threw me on the bed and tried to sexually harass me. No girl should be treated that way because it was a really uncomfortable experience. Hearing the stories of these young people are devastating. Not only one in five women will be raped in their lifetime, but women ages 18 to 24 who are college students are three times more likely than women in general to experience sexual violence. Therefore, we realize that we need to create a anti-sexual harassment and anti-sexual violence curriculum during the formative ages of students' lives. College is too late to teach people about sexual assault. After all, 44% of all sexual assault victims are under the age of 18. The basis of our members' benefits is the idea of support and advocacy. All members receive the ability to contact a hotline available from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., a phone hotline and a text hotline. The text hotline will be providing guidance on anti-sexual harassment and anti-sexual violence, as well as the advice from certified medical professionals for those who are victims of the sexual harassment or assault. We also have a private member blog where people can share their stories, ask questions, and offer advice. While we pride ourselves on supporting our members, we also encourage our members to support and educate others. Each year, students may submit a portfolio of a project that they created against sexual harassment or sexual violence. The chosen students will receive partial scholarships and there will be one student of the year that will receive a full tuition scholarship to the college of their choice. The students may also use the money to expand their project. Lastly, our premier members can request one of our board members to deliver a biannual anti-sexual harassment speech at their school. The United States currently has the third highest rape rate in the world. By educating students about these issues, we hope to lower rates of sexual violence and create a new generation of advocates for survivors. We need you to join the fight against sexual assault and sexual harassment alongside ending it through education's over one million members. Thank you.